I got the donuts all, some of them cut out. I'm just waiting for the fat to get hot enough. It's about 250 right now. I like to get it about 265. But Joey got a gift in the mail from a viewer from New Brunswick. And uh, I'm going to give it a try today, and I think it's going to work great. And it's a stick, which you use. Marty McFarlane made it, sent Joey two of them, and you use it to flip over the donuts and the grease and take them out and so forth. So I think it's going to work great. But we're going to give it a whirl in just a minute when the fat gets hot enough. Yeah, I've been using this body stick, which, honest to God, I've, I've always used a spatula like this to take them in, roll them over. But look how easily this does it. I mean, it's a, it's a work of art. I mean, how could you make anything any more ingenious than this? This is great. It, Look how easy it is to take them out of the fat. It, I mean, it had to have been done by. I'm thinking a genius. Oh, Straight up engineer. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Engineer. Did you come up with an idea yeah. like that? I don't know if you'd call it a culinary engineer or just an engineer, but. <laughs> Man, that that Marty, you got you've got a winner. Marty, right here. I would throw a patent on that thing. Man. I'd get your wife behind it on you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have her do the paperwork for you since you <laughs> did the hard work already. This is awesome. Really awesome. You want me to dip these, Donnie? Yeah, if you want to dip those. It's awful to have a guy that is static first thing you want it. Speaking of amazing, try your first Donnie's oh, Donut. Oh boy, look at that. Right off the press. Drive one of them into you. Yeah. That one's kind of thin. They might, I, don't, I hope they come in with all right. Oh yeah. We'll, they, su we'll suffer through again. All right, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> She's edible? Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that would pass. Oh look, a donut hole. Wow. Oh geez. <laughs> Marty's gonna have to make like a two pronged fork for them donut holes with a little, right, yeah. little curve on the end yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, he's got to come up with an invention for the donut hole. Yeah, I'm yeah, thinking the stick doesn't work too good for those. No, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure he could. He, he he's ingenious. You yep. know, to come up with this this idea. Look how look how nice that is. Unbelievable. <laughs> Well, you gotta keep the cook happy. Yep. I imagine biscuits are pretty good in that. that oh, uh, they're so good, they flop right up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got my dad's biscuit recipe, which came from over to Red Brook. Red Brook was a, a uh, lumber operation. Yeah, there was lumber camps there. My great grandfather had them. Yeah. Where is Red Brook in relation to here? Uh, about halfway down the lake, and if you're going down the lake, it would be on your left side. Okay. Yeah, Red Brook dumps in there. It used to be filthy with trout, but it, it's not so much anymore. Huh. None of the tributaries are because of the that low water we've had. Uh, really decimated the trout population up here. That friggin' Mike ruined the trout. I wonder if there's any good treasures down there. Oh, uh, there's treasures all over this lake. I mean, there's boats sunk. We've gone and seen them in the low water. The old motors, the motor blocks. I mean, it, it's just whenever they they got rid of it, they just threw it in the lake. You know, unfortunately, and huh. because all over the woods is just. Hey, look, Joey, you've got to come take a picture of this. I think it's a sign. <laughs> I cut the last donut. <laughs> I cut the last donut and look at the shape of that, that what hot? was left. And I haven't doctored it up at all, so I think it's a sign yeah. that Bobby's sending. <laughs> nice. So. I hope these fat ones are cooked in the middle. Oh, they were great. If they ain't, we don't care. Huh. I'd eat raw dough. <laughs> That's yeah, Donnie's I, favorite. I love it. <laughs> Oh, them are really good. Boy, nice job. I don't know if I can cook this like that or not. Oh, 
gonna ruin it, I guess. Ten out of this half. This is a half a batch. Yeah. Yeah, that's plenty for three guys. Look at. I just can't get over how easy this thing works. Because you know, if you make a half batch or a full batch, it'd get eaten either way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No matter what you. What we you never throw one away. <laughs> right. Yeah. The gobies don't get those. No. Nope. <laughs> It's a great donut. I ate so much food last mm. night. I thank you, Marty, for such a great invention. I'm going to use that every time I cook donuts from now on. It just it, it beats a spatula all to pieces. Is now it? the only thing you got to come up with is something to get the donut holes out of the fat. I'm thinking a two pronger. It's a like two, a two, maybe like a, a two prong, two prong. Yeah, yeah with a like little a hook, fork, on the, like yeah, a little a hook on the end though. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know if he can do that. Yeah, I know. I, I, if yeah. he can do what he did, yeah, that's true. He definitely can uh, come up with an idea. Yeah, maybe, maybe on the other end of the stick, you know, so it's one stick. Right, one, right. One yeah. on each end. Right. Yeah. Oh, that would work great. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. He'll thanks have to, again, Matty. <laughs> Yeah, he'll have to get his wife. You, you made our day up here. <laughs> he'll have to get his wife over to the patent office. Right. Yeah. yeah. Get St the paperwork. Start and have the paperwork. Out. Maybe yeah. she can do the marketing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good marketable invention. <laughs> John, what do you think of them? I mean, they're top shelf. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to fill up on them. Nothing wrong with this. I hope that the fish bite as good as we're biting right now. <laughs> <laughs> well guys you just heard it we're gonna do some fishing today we're gonna go to a secret private lake well not private but secret and it's a pretty special lake to me because it was right in the heart of one of my trapping lines and it never used to be open to ice fishing so i'm pretty excited to get out there it might not be open now we don't know but we're gonna go fish it <laughs> but but the the goal is to catch a bucket of white perch we'd like to catch a, a feed of white perch you know we'll have a feed for John we can leave a feed here and we can take a feed home and white perch are about as tasty a fish as there is that swims in the state of Maine so we got some cusk we got some salmon already and what we'll do is we'll uh we'll compare the three of them so stay tuned we're gonna drive some donuts and coffee into us and get geared up and then we're gonna head over and see if we can find this secret pond and then see if we can fish it Why, uh, them trout, like they got that purple hue to them. Oh, do they? It's cool. Yeah. There's Were they a, pretty? Not a ton of ponds that produce that. Oh, oh, she's thinking she might want to come, come back in. in. She's coming back in. Sorry, baby, but I gotta put my feet there. I'm gonna put you in the. I'm gonna put you right in there. Now she's looking to lay down. Take it 
Gravy yeah. She'll remember that for a minute, probably. This is how you get the fish going. Drink coffee. Yep. Then you put the coffee cup down. Yep. And lose the fish. Yep. Just gotta get one. Here we go. I'm oh, about to get wow. One. That's a monster. It's a big one, Two it? of them. Oh, here we go. Oh, it smelled. Chub. <laughs> Is it? Friggin' chub. Is it? Yeah. Crazy look bigger than that on the screen. Huh? I don't think I have a color chub last year. Well, I got some bait for tomorrow. Yeah. For tonight. She's gonna get hot in here in a hurry. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, it'll be hot in a hurry. Yeah, I've been out for two hours I looking know. for the fish. Going all over this thing. Like, I can't find them. Uh, I never tried it with a pan on top of that before. Uh, suppose I could throw them right on the rack. Guys, I want to show you an old trapping shack I found probably these 25 years ago when I was trapping. There was no road to it, um, no trail to it either. It was a mile and a half or so off the last road, the log road, but it's on the water, as you can see through those trees. And it was really well hidden back in the day. There was no daylight even getting to it. And when I found it, the roof hadn't caved in yet. And it was in real good shape. It was still locked up and I made a bunch of inquiries about it trying to take it over so I could fix it back up and keep it alive, but it hasn't it hasn't weathered too well. Put the doors off it now and take you inside. Four beds. Got some bunk beds there and table over here. There was a real nice cook stove there back in the day. I think it's fallen through the floor now where somebody snagged it. The loggers weren't too far from in here one year. Then there's the sink. And yeah. But she's pretty rough now as you can see, but the bones are still good on it. You know, the, the framing is still solid and the floor is good. So I think I think someone could make something out of it. I remember when I found this thing. I came real close to it before I even noticed it. That's how dark it was in these woods. And the bear had gotten one of the corners. I think it was this corner here where the bear had scratched the heck out of the corner, as you could see. Might have been that back corner too. But now there's a, a logging road. They put a new logging road. You can see it kind of ends over there with a trail down to it. So maybe somebody's going to resurrect it. I don't know. But it was always a dream of mine to own that thing and fix it up and live here on this lake. <laughs> Guys, you're not going to believe it, because I don't believe it. I'm out here on one of my old trapping spots, my old trapping lakes, on the lake now. And I think I found a moose antler. Moose or deer, I actually can't tell from here, but I see tine sticking out right ahead of me. Let's get up there and see what it is. Yeah. What is that doing on the lake? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Moose. Little, little baby moose. Oh, he's just a little palmated. Like Donnie. Four fingers. Look at that giant moose antler. <laughs> I am finding moose antlers like it's my job. Not even trying. I love it. I'm out here. I'm like... Oh, 40 feet onto the lake. So he dropped it on the lake. That's weird. Unless a coyote brought it out here. I don't see the other one. It's be an awesome matching set though, that tiny little thing. Just starting to get a palm to him. That's got a chew mark on it. Maybe a coyote did drag it out here. No, it's not a chew. I can put that one in my pocket. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. 
the boys are going to be excited when they see that. I couldn't even believe seeing time sticking out on the lake. Well, I'm going to drive the rest of this perimeter of this lake just to get a look at it. Parts of it I've never seen before and from a vantage point I've never seen. So maybe we'll find another one. Who knows? <laughs> You're not going to believe it, guys. This is just how it happened. I picked that antler up right there, drove over here, and I was driving there and I thought I saw something dark under the snow. Under the snow, mind you. And I kicked it. And it looks like we got another one. Oh, it's the other one. Matching set, <laughs> I think. Unless there was two little guys. Let's we gotta look, compare them. <laughs> it's like uh oh 30 yards away. That would be an awesome matching set. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> it sure as heck is. Look at that matching set of moose antlers. That's my second matching set of the year. I've only found six, I think. Seven. I don't know. I haven't really been looking for them. But that was cool. One was tying up. I couldn't miss it. And that one was tines down. And I could just see a little dark under the snow, actually. And I was like, no, nah, can't be. So I turned around. As you can see, there's my turnaround. And then I put a boot on it and sure as heck, matching set. Pretty awesome. That's probably the smallest matching set I've ever heard of. And he was out here on the ice when he lost it. So that's kind of interesting. Really interesting actually, out on top of the ice. Well, let's keep going, see what else we can find. Found a staven set of moose antlers. Did you? Ma matching set. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah. yeah. I bet these things are about as big as my game. Yeah, it must be if he's got them in there. <laughs> That's hey! awesome, though. How cool is that? Yeah, that is, is How cool. cool is that? That's better than a 50-inch spread. I know it, man. I've never yeah. seen a set like this. <laughs> Look at how tiny this set of moose sailors are. I think I'm going to get them mounted to my helmet. Yeah, <laughs> Walk around like this. Yeah. You've been in the woods too long. Donnie, this one reminded me of you. <laughs> it's got four fingers. Oh, okay, right. Right. <laughs> what a store. Look at that, huh? Did you find them right on the lake? Yeah, it was down that corner. This one had like two tines sticking up, so I was like, it's either a deer or a moose, because yeah. I thought it was huge. And I got over and it was only this big. Yeah. And then like 40 yards, 40 feet further, this one was upside down, snow covered, and I could see a little bit of dark. So I turned around and kicked it, yeah. and I kicked the snow off, and sure as heck. I'll be down. But look, look how good the color is, because they dropped them so late. I know it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> that is cool. And his trip's so can I have my perch mounted in one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we could mount one of them baby brook trout in them. <laughs> Staven set of moose antlers. That is really cool. All right, guys, the lake level is coming up. She's starting to slush up pretty good, as you can see. There's uh, about a foot of slush there. We're on top of it still yet. Uh, that's the way we want to keep it. But we're going to head on out of here. The fishing did not pan out like we were hoping. Poor John. How many times that happened to you guys where you bringing a friend to a spot where you smashed them before and you're all excited and you talk, talk it up, tell them about it. And then you get there and it ain't, it ain't happening. It happens so many times. So we feel bad for him. Donnie and I get to slur him now the rest of the trip, but we feel awful. So John, what do you think, buddy? Well, you just wait a minute. We're having trout for breakfast. <laughs> That's true. So all in all, so far that was good. We got, like a seven mile hike back to the camp and we might set up for cask. We might go get, I don't know what we're going to do. I think you ought to scope that hole with the stick sticking out of it. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to do? Go back to camp. Go back to camp? Oh, we got to get in the camp and fire going and then we can go scope that hole. Yeah, we'll go cusking. Okay. We're going to head right back to camp. Okay. All right, we got a little bit of a difficult situation. We hit one heck of a deep, nasty slush pocket with about two inches of crust on top of it and so oh, boot high underneath it. So there's me, I unhooked to make sure I didn't get buried. And I'm sitting on top right now, but I'm on the crust right there, so it's not good. So it's holding me right up now. I'm gonna walk back and see if I can give him a hand. 
Donnie's high and dry, but he's not in a good spot. I'm in the worst spot. And my sled's pretty full, but not too heavy. But you can see where I, oh, uh oh. You can see where I had to do a little bit of work right there with the shovel. John's in trouble over there. Trying to get to you, Bob. Uh, I'm trying to get to you, but I'm struggling. Oh yeah. Let it cool down for a minute. Yeah. Get out. I'm I'm high and dry, but I'm still on top of nasty stuff. Oh no, we gotta figure. We gotta put them up. We gotta figure out we're gonna get out of here to that day. I thought it was, I'd have been ripping, you know what I mean? Yeah, me too. I thought you were coming over to talk to me. No, I was coming to look. They drilled holes right there. Oh, is that what you were doing? Yeah. I should have known better to go near drilled holes. Yeah. I wonder how far this goes for. Well, our closest point to mainland is right there. I mean, that's what we want to head for, I think. Yeah, I'm wondering what I'm going to do for my sled if I'm going to hook a rope to it. That's what we'll have to do. I'm thinking Donnie's probably going to be alright to go to punch it straight ahead, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit darker than the buckets, but I mean, if I'm going to go, I'd go. Oh, yeah. Because if we get three down, we got no way to get home tonight. Yeah. Well, I think we ought to get this one afloat if we can. Yeah. So that at least I'll be up. All right. And I'm going to go back and get my dog, but I'm out of this shit by hand. Can I help in any way? No. No. You stay right there and make sure that thing don't fall in the circuit drink. Because if that one goes down, we're in trouble. I'm up on top. Yeah. I, th I think I'm fine in this stuff if, if I'm not towing. I would have gone like a bastard if I didn't get the Yeah, me too. All right, here's a here's a trail right here. Yeah. This is where somebody else came through. It's frozen. Yes. If we can get to that, uh, yeah, that. If you can get on this, you can go that way. Yeah. You gotta get you got you got about 25 feet. You gotta get. Oh, maybe not. I just had to take a break, so I was just pounding. Yeah, take her easy. Pound a pound a belt out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I yep. Sled up out. Sled ain't gonna freeze. It. No, like, what are you saying? We could get that in the morning? No. Oh. No, I, I gotta get it up on the high drive. Right? No, no, that, the tow sled. Yeah, but I have to get it out of there to here. Yeah. Man, you got nothing here. No, I know. We might have to break it all, and you might just have to slush run it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. I know. I should have walked my course, and then I would have found this snow drift. But it started walking, and I just said, ah, oh, let her eat. She'll come out. All right. Well, we yeah, gotta get this. Huh? We gotta get this little tundra out. I'm glad it's a little tundra. I'm sitting dry, but I'm not safe yet till we get on high ground. You got to. Yeah, I just gotta get all this out from in front of your your track. Front of your track. Okay, I get it. What do you want? How do you want to do this? Well, it's huh? uh, I don't believe we can take it out. I don't want to throw you a band. Yeah, is there, are the rails sitting down? Uh, well, they're just in this. Yeah. Ah, I can break the rope. Oh, that last. So you don't know what I'm going to check this one there. So it'll sit down. Yeah, we'll 
decent wash. Yeah. But I didn't even know that. I was moving. I was happy as metal. Take it. Take it easy. Try to pack behind it and see if it, it went in reverse a little bit. Did it? Yeah. yeah, we could dig it out behind it. Might take such a big bite. I can get on it. I got, well, no, you're about the same size as me. But you got some weight on you. Oh, yeah. Well, I walked out of the first hole. If it weren't for the snow drift, I wouldn't be sitting here. I think you'll walk out of this hole, be honest with you. Feels like it'll go. Yeah. If you can just step in front of the calendar there, if you can just where that mound is, either step or dig it. You want to try it? Yeah. Want me to do it? Walk her out of there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No. I'm gonna go backwards. Ready? Wait, does that go in there? Oh, it's not the ski. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. 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 The two of us can't lift that back in the slush, right? I don't know. I dig it out more before we even thought about it. Pretty soft. That's yeah, probably there. all slush there, right? Huh? That's probably all slush. Yeah. I got a toe strap. I can go check. Oh, Might pop up on that. Ain't no snow drifts in front of me. Christ, I'm almost wondering if we don't. There's no way we can get you up turned around, right? No. Huh? Go that way? I don't think so. Okay. I'm going, sweetie, if I get going. Okay. We can't get it done? We better hang up our cleats. What a trap. Minor. You think? Minor. We ain't home yet. No, not even close. Ain't even... Ain't anywhere near it, Bob. We'll get home, though. You're freed up right now, right? Well, I think I'm going to drive. Yeah, Backed you... up to where I am. Yeah, you should have five feet of good run ahead of you. I shoveled it out. Broke trail. Yep. But, should have caught a bucket full of perch today. I don't know, worrying about that right now. Yeah. Come on, old girl. Come on, baby. Yep. Oh. All right. I think he's good. Mine's up on top, but I got my otter here. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might see what I can do about it. That's kind of what got, got me, I think, when I got under. All right, he made it. 
just want to make sure this one's not frozen in for the night. Huh. And then there was one. That's me. I don't believe that's going to freeze in. That's up on top. Let's see if I can get out of here. Yeah, I'm sitting on bad stuff. I hope I get some motion first. I'm almost thinking I can pull your thing off. Why don't we just wait till the freeze up? You think it'll freeze? It's gonna go below freezing tonight. Is it? Every night this week forecasted like 17, 20. It'll be a lot hotter in the morning than it is right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you can get back to them. I think I could with this. Really? I know, but it's towing it out's trouble. If you get, if we get pinned again, we're right back square one. Yeah. I mean, I'll get up in the morning and sled over here. It's, we come straight to the south end here. It ain't gonna take long. We'll get over here and poke our way around, see what we think. We'll yeah, I'm up. hoping our, our own trails freeze. Yes, they should. They're wet enough. Boy, you got a lot of ice underneath. Yeah, I imagine. Clean, clean that out. That'll clean out on the ride home, though. All right, so we're gonna leave all the stuff? I don't think we should attempt Okay. Rescue till morning when it, and see if it freezes up better. I yep. can't believe anybody's gonna bother. Oh, I'm not worried about that one bit. They yeah. won't. They, no one else can get it out of there if we can't. Right. Well, I just, um, what I'm worried about is it's we're losing daylight. Yeah. And if we sink again, we gotta spend another hour or two getting out, get, getting over just back to here again. We're this far. Yeah. Camp's there, we go back. We do our routine, we get a good meal, we get up in the, out of bed in the morning, and we know the first thing we can do is come over and get our dog sleds. Yep, sounds good. That's our mission, and then from there we decide what the rest of the day is going to bring. Yeah. And see what that 40 degree day does to the lake. Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be 40 tomorrow. We might be just riding the bunny trails around the village looking for wildlife and going yeah. to small camps. And... 
We're fishing right in the cove again if it doesn't slush up. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite an adventure. It's all, it's all part of the game, boys. It's all part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get to camp. All right, all right, we made it back. Not, not the worst, in my opinion. Uh, once I got my sled, I unhooked the, the anchor. Wasn't too much weight in it, but what happened was there's about probably 14 inches of slush underneath like an inch and a half across. So if you break through and your, and your rails are, you know, 12 or 13 inches like this, and this slush is there if your rails are sitting up off and the track can't touch anything it's just going to spin so that's what happened to me so i ended up jumping on the rails pushing some of that snow down and mine jumped right out and then once i got once i got her moving anytime i hit slush i'd punch it and it, it would just lift up and go so i wanted to go back and get my sled but the guys are totally against it they didn't want me to mess around because dark's coming pretty soon and it's supposed to we're thinking it's going to get cold tonight. We're going to check on the interweb. Uh, he's get He can get service through the satellite to see the weather for tonight. But other than that, we left a pile of gear out here on Chizunkuk Lake. I got three, four, about $5,000 worth of stuff sitting on the lake. And I don't think anybody's going to take it. I promise you that. I'm not worried about that at all. I just wanted to go cusk fishing tonight. Now I can't go cusk fishing. Because yeah, my... That's I, all right. I screwed that all Cause up. Because my auger's out there. Everything's out there. Traps are out there. Everything. Everything. So we ain't cusk fishing tonight, I guess. But whatever. The bait, the brook hey. trout, everything's yeah, out there. Yeah, our breakfast is out there. We left yeah. the brook trout and the perch. We're going to show you guys the brook trout we caught today. And I don't even think you guys have seen the brook trout yet. So it'll be there tomorrow. We'll eat it for breakfast tomorrow. John's going to hook up to the satellite and check on the weather and make sure it's going to get cold tonight if it's not i don't know maybe we'll take this boat out with a couple paddles and get and get to the sled twitch them out. we'll twitch them out we'll twitch them out but i got probably i think i have about 30 foot oh no i got 50 foot of cable and probably a hundred foot of rope and then maybe another rope for another hundred foot so if oh. we got to make a rope out there we're we're golden I, I got enough rope to go from here to zero right there. You do? Porch. That's what we pull moose out with. Oh, yeah. I got some rope. Shoot, well, we could I do got that. Rope. I think I could get us right to the hard pack with the rope I got. It's from wow. old lineman ropes when I worked for Lucas Tree. So we might be doing that then. It's probably. Yeah. But if it, if it does freeze tonight and get cold, those tracks where we broke open are going to actually freeze. The stuff, the other slush, believe it or not, will never freeze underneath the top if it if it's not broken open. If it's broken open, it will freeze. It's just this weird phenomenon with slush. But I don't know if it's because that's where the boys fished yesterday or if there's water coming down the stream on top or if it's just the snowpack on top pushing the ice down, if that, that's what's making the slush, but not good. Oh, I thought it was gay. Yeah, John was some worried. I've never seen him so worried in my life. I, I thought it was a little bit too soon getting home, so I just wanted to snub us up a little bit so we could <laughs> look around. You were, you got, admit it, you were a little bit nervous. Yeah, but I didn't lose my cool. When, when Donnie took off. Oh, you didn't oh when it. he sunk, when he broke through, I thought he was done. No, but, no, I just, yeah, he knows I him. just ribbed that sucker right up and just, he, just crawled right through that. That tundra is something it did else. Crawl. It did crawl right out. Yeah, yeah, well, you... But John's you, going, no, right, no, 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 no. <laughs> then Donnie pops out on dry land. He goes, go. he goes, friggin' legend. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's exactly <laughs> That's what, what he I said. said. He, goes, he goes, what a legend. <laughs> ah, Donnie. So the, Two uh, thumbs up for that. Yeah, so if, so if we didn't make it out, Donnie could at least get us home. We could have right. we could have crawled out. Probably Donnie would have got us home and helped. Probably two and a half miles to walk across the yeah. camp Ooh, from where we easily. were. Easily. Yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah, we didn't got here by morning so donnie upgraded his sled this year donnie now tell me if this thing ain't worth every penny you it, put it into sure it sure is <laughs> every nickel you'd have paid double every nickel yeah. you'd have paid double after that yeah that was sure. the first one on dry land and he even yeah. did it hauling a, a tow behind but this thing hauls so easy yeah yeah, yeah. At least we got that home today. Yeah, so now yeah. we can go sit in the shack and dream about cusp right. fishing. Yeah. yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> today, high of 36, What's 28 today? for low tonight. So mm. only four degrees below freezing, but Ugh. it's going to be better than right now, though, because yeah. it was warmer today. I mean, 
It's be... only... Guys, that's not the best that's... thing I've ever heard right nope. there. No. Nope. It's calling for 28 above, 28 degrees tonight as a low. A little wind though. Yeah. Little... So usually if it says 28, it'll probably be 20. You know, they're never right. Well, when we head over here, I'll tell you, we'll have a couple hundred yards of rope with us. Yeah. We'll get, all we got to do is run a rope out, hook it to it, and go like hell up the shoreline until yeah, we get it off of there. The shore, and we can run you got another name. sled? Huh? You got another tow behind to throw the rope and stuff in, or well, throw we in the box? Well, we'll just tow that, throw all the ropes in the boat, and then we'll tow the boat home behind everything else. Sweet. I mean, I got a boat full of ropes. Nice. I get some ropes. We'll go get them tomorrow. Sweet. <laughs> we'll, so, just, yeah. we'll just go out there with snowshoes with ropes and hook them to the slides yeah. and run right up the shoreline until they're safe. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's that easy, guys. So that's that's the worst case scenario so is, is we snowshoe out, hook up with a thousand yards uh, of uh, rope. <laughs> that's the worst case. Best case is I try it with my snowmobile and don't get buried. And then the worst case is not you getting buried. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the other kicker of that. I'm actually happy. I'd love to stretch the ropes out because we hauled moose with, out with them in a friggin' rainstorm in the mud and they never got cleaned. The people oh. didn't clean them when they brought them back to me. Yeah. They could use a nice snow cleaning. Yeah. Supper, be fresh, do it in the morning. No, yeah. we just... If it were up to me, I'd, I'd get supper ready. Well, yeah. No, I think we should do it. I yeah. Mean, if we went and got it tonight, we could fish tomorrow, but we'll be worn out. We won't fish tomorrow. Is my feeling. Yeah. Yeah, well, we can wait. Donnie, why don't you walk us through what's happening around this patch? Oh, what I'm trying to do is to get a meatloaf going. It's a venison meatloaf. And what I've done is put some venison in the bottom, cracked open two eggs, put that in, put some Parmesan cheese. I'm in the process of putting in onion right now. Then I'm going to add a little Ritz crackers to this whole thing. I've broken up pieces of bread. I'm going to knead this all together with some ketchup. And then I'm going to put it in a, a, a uh, one of these little tray things. And we're going to cook it in a Dutch oven on the wood stove. It's beautiful. And I'm going to have mashed potatoes. Does everybody like garlic here? Yep. No. You Oh, yeah, I like garlic. You ain't opposed to garlic? No. No, he ain't opposed to garlic. I'm going to make some uh, scrunchions to go in the mashed potato. And scrunchions, I learned, are ma made in Newfoundland when I went to Newfoundland. And every restaurant we went in, they had scrunchions on the menu. And I said, what the heck is scrunchions? And the waitress says, we cut up pieces of salt pork into little cubes. We fry it so it's crispy, and a lot of people use it on their vegetables and especially in their potatoes. It sounds good to me. So I'm going to fry up a little bit of garlic and do the same kind of thing if you want to add it to your potatoes. So we'll see how that comes out. Scrunchions. That's what they call it in Newfoundland. Well, scrunchions. And look at the little puppy dog. <laughs> Done. My parents have a little. Done. They have a little uh, fake one of them. Yeah. That is the identical thing, but half the size. Done. That they put next to the, the wood stove. I got one right out here by the propane tank. I should probably bring it in because it's covered with ice. She done. done. She's done. All right. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Fillet fish. Oh, the old. The old slush magnet would not have made it out off the lake. Oh. If I had the old slush magnet, she'd be sitting right there. But this thing's just a, this is a beauty. I walked her right out in low gear, and I love it. That was very impressive. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I made it about five feet, and she dug in. And I said, well, I'm going down. All right, I said, I'm going down. And when I went down, hit the gas, and she just lifts up. Pew! So, so what do we get going here? What's this mess? I don't know where all these came from. <laughs> I guess we probably ought to clean them up. It's warming up. Yeah, that cask is probably over 24, ain't it? Well, yeah, yeah I got a measuring tape. This little tiny matching set I found. I'm like, this is, I've got, one, I've got one matching set that's like my favorite ever. It's my first set I've ever found. I got it while I was literally on the trap line. That's pretty nice right there. Yeah. And then I found a matching set this year that are awesome. 
And then I got these that are just, that's the smallest palmated matching set I've ever seen. Those you really should not fish in. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty excited about them. Look at that hot. That's gotta be just good as a partridge hot. Mm -hmm. Can you believe I got a partridge over in the bushes too? I ain't butchered yet. <laughs> Been awful gamey. Yeah. Now these will uh, rehydrate tomorrow if we pack them in the snow. Yeah. And they'll be just beautiful. There won't be no slime when you get them home. You might have to dig a little bit more of that bloodline out. But... Yeah, we'll pack them. I got shot tonight. Let's put a measuring device to them. All of them, or just the, oh whatever. This brute. I'm just curious how long. No, you got it because we got one twenty six. Twenty three and a half. Twenty four. Looks like it. They're long. Yep, but not fat. That twenty six had the belly on it, like you would. Oh, really I know it. Like an old bat. Yeah, once they hit about twenty five, they start going different directions. Yeah, they do. They get fat. That's yeah. what I done when I got about twenty five. <laughs> I started drinking beer. Beer? Yeah, putting the beer to me. I put it to me all the time, but that's when it started sticking around my barrel. <laughs> I got no excuse for Oh, he's got a messy He's satchel. got something in there. Wait, check it out. Yeah. You want to know what they've been eating down there? Watch out for a hook. Okay, I ain't going in the... Well, okay. when I autopsy it. Do you, you fish today? Yeah. How'd you do? I went to Chamberlain. We caught it's... one toad. Any size? Uh, like three, four pounds. Did you set under the ice? Yep. Every you told us to go. It worked, didn't it? Yeah. Crazy. Well, we had a we had an adventure. Our sleds with all our gear didn't make it back. Oh boy. We went over Go where on. where you fished yesterday. Buried right where you fished. Buried her. No. All the sleds oh. stuck. Snowmobiles buried. Oh yeah, in the slush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's deep now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, we fished right on the edge of the slush because we got stuck and then we had to pull. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh yeah, I knew it slush over there, but yeah. How did uh, how was Jamo? Was it slushy? No, it wasn't bad at all. Oh, good. Yep. yep. The guys make it to the trains? Uh, yeah, they didn't. Yeah, I stayed and fished, but <laughs> good for you. Nope. Just, it was like three flags. It's kind of slow, but it yeah, nice. got one. Right? We well, were pretty slow. We caught a couple brookies by accident. Mm -hmm. Only one perch. Only yeah, one uh, yeah, perch? Wow. Think, yeah. Couldn't yeah. find them. I think that's a brookie fishery over there. Autopsy. Do you know John was a professional meat cutter for uh, 10 years? Briefly. 18. Yeah. 18 years? Mm -hmm. Perch or smelt? What's the smell? Oh, yeah. Look at them. Two, three smelt. Crayfish. There's your honey hole. Put oh, that on yeah. bottom Save and wiggle that. him. Save that. <laughs> yeah, Another one. one tug on your. On your bait. No way, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Use, yeah. That makes me so happy. Oh, yeah. That's epic. We yeah. gifted you some yeah. some yeah. hot bait and you yeah. turned it into something. We had to boil them up. Yeah. We used to get them by the five gallon bucket on the north branch and boil them just like crazy. Uh, just like they do the. Oh, that's so cool south. you got it yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. Was he running like a salmon? Oh, my God. Yeah, he just Isn't it crazy it. over there? We were packing up to the last flag. It went off. I just went over there to spool on it. <laughs> Old Master Maine Bushman went up to look at the church and found out that a partridge had bombarded the window, so we're going to see if it's fit to eat. He broke a window. He's going to pay for his transgressions towards the church. As Bob Johansson said, there isn't anything goes on in that village that Johnny Moore doesn't know about. So that was his exact words. Really? Yep. Well, I don't know if it's soft enough. No, we gotta wait till tomorrow. It's too hard. Matching set of moose antlers. Pretty sick. You hang these right up and mount them. Yeah. I awesome. think you gotta put a, a, a male and a female, about five pound brook trout you in You wouldn't it. see the antlers. Oh, yeah. Her heritage trout. Oh, you could curl it across them. All right, maybe a three pounder. <laughs> you gotta start, you know, you gotta start down here and work your way out. Yeah. I feel pretty honored that I reached out to you boys and you came up and fished with me. Thank you. I'm having a time yeah, now. Good. Like, We're glad you. you like it. I thank you for the invite. This oh, has man. been great. I plowed See what I mean though? We don't have to catch fish no. to be happy. I plowed the parking lot. I got everything all done there now. Donnie and I are just as happy. Just having adventures every day. Oh, that was an adventure.
<laughs> yeah, but today, listen, we got to go fish. Yeah. Blindfold Pond. I don't care if I Blindfold Pond. Blindfold Pond. Got to see the old trapping shack. Yeah, somebody. Got to find a set of antlers. Just, yeah, just to see something new. We caught a couple brookies. We got, got to a, see the dog take a nose dive. Yeah, the dog took nose dives. Her pride was hurt first thing. <laughs> at least Donnie's kept it upright today. Tell the folks at home who this dog is. And this is uh, this is Sadie May, and she's pushing 13 years old. Wow, Sadie. She's ridden 4,200 miles on a snowmobile. She's been bucked out at least 11 times that I know of. Wow. And. I just, she wants to stay home and sleep, but I won't let her go to sleep yet. So Donnie took a nosedive yesterday. Sadie took one today. It's you or me tomorrow, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just be careful. Yeah. And we have one hell of a mission, uh, roping yeah. and rigging out some gear. As you guys saw, we had to leave a lot of gear on the ice. <laughs> so we got a plan for tomorrow. And uh, plans are... Well, uh, plans, plans are like uh, opinions. Yeah, exactly. We all got one. They all stink, <laughs> or something like that. But we'll see how the we'll see how it goes tomorrow. We got a couple different options. Oh, we'll get them out. We got a young fella, a couple houses down the village, just pretty eager to come out to. So we might send him out first. <laughs> but we got we got some snowshoes. We got a, oh, we got all sorts of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but we've waited long enough for this dinner. We yeah. can't wait much longer. No, exactly. That's for damn sure. Are those grunions? Those are, are grunions? Grunt. These are scrunchians. Scrunchians. See how nice they Holy cow, brown those look up. pretty good. I could sell those. So, you know, try to keep the oil separate, but when you put them on your potato. Is that what you do? Yeah. I mix them right in okay. with the mashed potato. Just oh, try it. It's garlic mashed potato. Yeah. It's edible. Well, and you know, the guide was pretty stingy with getting the hot dogs out of his freezer, so we're pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch. Do you need a place to put that? <laughs> How about Kurt? Can Kurt skin a deer? He can skin a deer, but he's a, if you like a good wedge cut on your back straps, you want to go see Kurt Willat. He is the man. Kurt can skin a fire. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a mule skinner from way back. Yeah, he's. You said he's what the second best meat cutter you've ever second met. Second best meat cutter I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty honorable. This is gonna be the tenderest meatloaf I think we've we ever seen in our life. We steamed it. Dutch uh, oven meatloaf. You're gonna put your plate right here. Wow, that's so tender. It's gonna come out in pieces. That's how it's gonna come out in the morning. It might even <laughs> work tonight. Yeah, we might be up tonight. There's a touch light in the oh, outhouse. Okay. Just hit it. All right, Donnie, thank you so much. Oh, my God. you got to oh. try some and tell the viewers how it is, if it's edible or not. He's outdone himself. It'll fully spill the wood. No, you know, not bad for a guy that I thought was going to be sound creating a slush out there, about oh. 300 yards from the Oh, uh, you saw how I did that. Went right through that stuff like no. through a tin home. <laughs> it's, that's the second best meatloaf I've ever had. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, I make a pretty good meatloaf. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's made with uh, deer meat. With garlic, garlic venison. Garlic and uh, what? Uh, Parmesan, I yeah. think, or something. Garlic and cheese, they call yeah. that in the business. <laughs> yeah. 